Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. Now I've been trying to get away from doing the, uh, the intros, but I haven't had a whole lot of success with that. So I'm going to have to go back into doing that again, but I'm going to try and keep this as short as I possibly can. I apologize for, uh, for how infrequently we've been posting videos the last few weeks. Been working a whole bunch of extra shifts and then I went in and had, had uh, eye surgery. So I've been recovering from that and still am. But hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get back to our usual routine of having a, a decent number of videos coming out for you guys, especially all those exclusive videos for our patrons. We're really trying to focus on, on giving you guys some awesome content. So for anybody that is interested in that, just go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And I've had, had quite a few questions, uh, even though we've had this system in place for a little while, quite a few questions on how you can... Uh, how how our fans can tip us or show appreciation to us and you can buy us a cup of coffee. We, uh, we set up uh, a, um, a quote unquote tip jar for that. Uh, again, just check the description of the video down below if you're curious about that. Um, otherwise, you know, hope you guys are enjoying things. Please email us with anything strategies you would like to see, questions you may have, videos you would like to see, if you would like to see us do the true crime stuff again, or, or just uh, the mob stories on Vegas, or the history of Vegas, or restaurants, um, anything you might like to see, see, uh, see from us, please shoot me an email, uh, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. We love shooting this stuff for you guys. Otherwise, we're going to jump right into today's video. So for today's video, this video is going to be for the brand new players, just coming into the dice world. Now, I am going to assume that you do know how the game works, that you have already watched a number of videos, so you actually know how the game itself functions. I'm not going to talk about how the game works. What I want to talk about is how should you play. You're brand new to craps. It's the first time you've ever played. You've watched some videos, you've talked to some people, maybe you've read some books, whatever it may be, but you've learned at least how the mechanics of the game work. And now you want to actually go play and see how it works. The first thing to keep in mind is that most of your knowledge is theoretical, so you're don't, not going to have the super fast reflexes that the, uh, the experienced veteran players have as far as manipulating their bets and stuff like that go. You're going to have to stop and think. You're going to have to look and think about, about what each roll of the dice does because, you, again, you, you've watched some videos, you've read some books, you've talked to a few people. So, I'm, I'm also going to say that we are going to de do these demonstrations, do, do this, this lesson, on um, a $10 minimum bet table, assuming there's a $10 minimum bet table. Now, you're not going to find that on the strip. However, if you're brand new to craps, I don't think you should be playing on the strip anyway. If you're brand new to craps, you need to find the cheapest table you can find so that you can actually learn how to play. So go off the strip. Go off the strip, find the $10 table or $15 table. Um, you know, you, you can maybe, if, if, you know, the gods of crap shine on you during a slow day, maybe find a $5 table somewhere, but uh, I wouldn't bet on it. So I'm going to assume a $10 table. So we're going to look at this with four different buy-ins, four different buy-ins, okay? We're going to have a player that buys in for 300 bucks, or for 100 bucks, player that buys in for 300 bucks, player that buys in for 500 bucks, and player that buys in for 1000 now, the $1,000 player may end up um, playing on the ship, playing on a $25 minimum bet table. I mean, why, why not? That's, that's no different than buying in on a $5 table with $200 bucks, um, or a $10 table with $400. Bucks. So um, the $1,000 player may end up scaling up the bets and playing on the strip. But just about everybody else, they, they should be going into it with the expectation that you're going to lose your money. So play the pass line as you will, entirely up to you does not matter. Again, I assume that a brand new player has at least learned the basics of the game, so I'm not going to explain those. So what kind of strategies would I recommend for these brand new players? Well, for the one that only has a $100 buy-in, $100 budget, my recommendation, get yourself four shooters, is do the six and eight. Do the six and eight, and then my recommendation is pressing one unit. Press one unit. Um, because that way you're going to collect and you're going to collect a little bit when the numbers hit, and they will still grow faster than people think they do. Uh, plus, there's a certain point, maybe when they hit the green, where you start, uh, you know, you start mid pressing. That's that's what I would certainly do, you know. Or when you hit the green, treat the green as a as one unit. Go from 30 to 60, 60 to 90, 90 to 120, 120 to 150, so on and so forth. I have seen many players that do that. 
so that would be my recommendation right here. You're covering one third of all the non-losing combinations of the dice. And if you catch a cold table, you still got four shooters worth of numbers. Now, for the player with the $300 buy-in, what I would recommend here is 44 inside. Again, play the, uh, uh, play the pass line as you will, entirely up to you. I would recommend the inside. You have a slightly larger buy-in, so you're able to see seven or eight shooters with this kind of, of, of play, and you're gonna see a lot more hits. You're gonna get paid a lot more times. The number one thing for all of you brand new players out there is never, ever, ever same bet. Never same bet. Always put at least a small portion of your money back into your bet. I mean, even, you know, I see people that, uh, that aggressively press and then same bet say they're $300, um, you know, the $300 six or something like that, or the $300 five. And, you know, I get it. You want to you bank some blacks and, and uh, um, you know, make back, you know, get a few more shooters worth of money into your bankroll. But, again, I, I just can't same bet. Even if I'm not going to go from three to four fifty on a six, I might go from three hundred to three sixty. You know why not? At least put a little bit more in there. I may not go from three hundred to five hundred on the five if I if I want to collect a little bit, but I'm certainly going to go from three hundred to at least three fifty. I mean, again, why not? So, again, press one unit. Although now that you are able with the three hundred dollar buy-in and going forty four inside, since you are able to see seven or eight shooters, I would actually go more with a mid press strategy. So just watch some of our videos on the mid-press strategies to tell you how those go. Uh, but, I mean, you'll start out with one unit, and then after that, you'll start going up two-ish units um, until the bets get a little bit larger. Okay, but you, you, you've got more to work with at this point. Now, what about the $500 buy-in? Well, the $500 buy-in is probably not going to surprise anybody. 54 across. Get all the numbers. Get all the numbers, and again... I would not same bet. Um, I would mid press. Uh, uh, again, I would recommend mid pressing. That's going to get you your bets up a little bit faster, and it's going to work out for you stronger in the long run. Plus, you have enough of a buy in to see nine or ten shooters, so you might as well try and make some money. If you just same bet all the time, you're going to lose all your money because you will never, no matter what kind of roll you hit, you are never going to win enough to be able to, to look at it and go, hey, I'm a big winner. I'm going to walk away. It's just not going to happen. You have to be pressing. $1,000 buy-in. $1,000 buy-in. This is where I would probably juice it up a little bit. Two different things to do. Two options. Option number one, 64 across including. Okay, so this back row is going to be for the $1,000 buy-in because there's a couple different options. Option number one, 64 across including, include the point, and power press, power press. Because here you're seeing 15 shooters worth of, of uh, shooters. So power press the heck out of it. Sure, you can, again, not same bet, but do like a little mini press at a certain, you know, a certain level where, you know, where you're at the 300 or so mark on three or $400 mark on most of your, on any individual number. You know, go ahead and collect three or four blacks or more while still putting a little bit more money onto it. But otherwise, aggressively press. Get, get aggressive with it. You have a lot of shooters worth to see. The thing is, you just ask the dealers for help on these. Now, the other option with this, the $1,000 buy-in, is do 135 across or 160 across, including. Up to you. Now, in this case, now you're kind of back into a situation that, that say, the $300 player is looking at. We're only going to see about six or seven shooters with this. So here, maybe you want to go back down to a mid-press strategy instead of a power-press strategy, where you're just going up you know, from, well, fours and tens, you would always just double it. But say the five and nine, 25 to 35 to 50 to 75, to 125, so on and so forth. 30 to 42, to 60, to be the 72 or 90, and so on and so forth. So those would be the options and the recommendations for, for you guys. So I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least marginally helpful, at least entertaining. We thank everybody for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video and as promised a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again we want to uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible and then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately it ate up almost all of our cash um, 
paying off all of our bills during the month of January. January, while we were down, and uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here, uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those those things, those those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such such like that. But the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with Three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons, or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons, and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed, and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me, and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching, and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.